afternoon, we have a delegation of the Oasis oh, West Jordan Commission on Inquiry. Um, right now, the chairperson is the justice of the show. Following the events, the events that occur in the day, the commission has finished the work and they have to present their report to you. Um, we have also with us the um, your sector ministers, the Attorney General of the Minister for Defence, Minister for National Security, and the Deputy Minister for the Interior, who is representing the Minister of Interior who is out of the country. Of course, the Honourable Chief of Staff. Uh, at this point, we'll let Mr. Mitchell introduce this. Commissioner, please, please. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President, the Chief of Staff, Ministers of State, Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, Asian after my brief remarks. <laughs> the events surrounding the conduct of the by election at the Ayawasu West Wagram four weeks ago, vis a vis the time given us to report on our work. But at the same time, my commissioners and I and the executive secretary also shared in the imperative of working with dispatch in light of the importance of the issues implicated in the inquiry and the public interest involved. We immediately set about working and with the able support of your Chief of Staff and her staff, especially Mr. Ko Isuman and Colonel Drew, our takeoff and operations were made less difficult. As Chairman, Your Excellency, I'm delighted to stand before you today, <clears throat> having delivered on our mandate within what can be arguably said to be a record time. The depth of our report will convince you, Your Excellency, of the fact that all necessary grounds have been covered, and I am confident that you will find the findings and recommendations <coughs> useful in shaping important reforms for the future. On behalf of the commissioners and executive secretary, and on my own behalf, as chairman, I wish to thank you, Your Excellency, for this necessary initiative and commend your resolve to stamp out the evil of electoral violence from our body politic. On that note, Your Excellency, I would like to make a formal report presentation so, the chairperson of the commission and its members, chief of staff, ministers. Let me first of all welcome you very warmly to the seat of the presidency of our country to Jubilee House and to say how very happy I am that uh, this important task that was assigned to you has in your own words been completed in record time. I have first of all to thank you, the members of the commission, the secretary, the council and all of those associated for agreeing to provide this service to the people of our country. The circumstances in which these unfortunate events occurred might have proved uh, somewhat difficult for others, but you did not hesitate to accept the assignment. And the work that you have done has been in the public domain the whole country has seen the transparent nature of the proceedings. And we have all followed it, obviously, with great care and attention. I'm happy that at long last, 
it's come to an end. The findings and the recommendations that have been made will, of course, be given the greatest possible attention by me and the members of my government. We have the responsibility of ensuring the maintenance of law and order in our country. And that responsibility is not one which can be abdicated on any occasion. So to the extent that this commission can help us, uh, its findings and recommendations can help us advance the cause of law and order in our country, uh, welcome it. It will be the subject of close study. I'm not sure that in the circumstances of this commission, this is the, the, uh, the commission that will call for the issuance of a white paper on our part, but we will look at all of these matters and we'll respond appropriately and accordingly. But in the meantime, I think that my, my duty is to thank you on behalf of the people of the nation of Ghana for the work that you have done and for agreeing to undertake this very sensitive and important assignment. Hopefully, the recommendations and findings will help us on the road to ridding our nation of uh, this canker of electoral, politically related violence that has unfortunately become part of the, the, the culture of our politics. It's regrettable that that should be the case. But there it is. Where our duty is to confront the realities of the day and try to find a panacea that will assure the good people of Ghana that they can go about their normal duties, including the exercise of their constitutional and political rights in an atmosphere of peace and freedom. And that is our main concern. So I want to thank you very much for agreeing to the task and for bringing the task now to this conclusion. And we will hope, uh, we will look at what you have done, and hopefully it will be something that will be of use to the people of Ghana and to its, uh, and, and to its current government. So thank you very much for coming. Well, so Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. So are all of these? All of these for us, each one of you. They're copies. They're copies. Well, let's have them. Secretary. Yeah. It's good.